relativistic derivation of kinetic energy, or at least a tiny part of it, because the actual thing is huge and a monstrosity. How did we derive this weird looking equation? Well, I'm going to tell you how we did exactly this. We know that your work is the equal to the change in kinetic energy. Therefore, delta Ke is equal to the integral of the fourth uh, dot product. And uh, by the way, f times dx, this may look a little familiar to you from the equation work equal fd slash fx, depending on how you want to interpret the symbol. However, using a d will just get you confused with this other d type of d, which is actually uh, basically a substitute for gamma, which means change in. So V equal to delta D over delta T, DX over DT. Now, this may not seem like much uh, because we only have one piece of the equation, but fear not, we can make this clearer. We, uh, we know that uh, impulse is equal to force over uh, time time. And if I uh, remember correctly from one of our lectures in the 50s or 60s, I remember that we proved that J is actually equal to P. Impulse is equal to momentum in terms of constant uh, and physics uh, terms. So that means that FT is actually equal to P. Meaning that if P equal FT, which we can actually you know, draw as this, which is the true definition, then we can write dp to be equal to df, no, no, just f, there are no change, and then dt. Now, that gives us just an f equal to dp over dt. And that's where the second piece of our equation comes from. So now, which will be equal to xf minus x initial. Obviously, we write it in terms of limits when it comes to calculus. xi, xf, x times dx. Now, you can see that dp actually breaks up into 1 over dp uh, mistake here. So, this is supposed to be equal to dp this is supposed to be dt, and this is dx, yeah, got it. So, delta ke is from xi to xf, dp times dx over dt. And I think you recognize this. We can actually simplify this and make it dv. Now, Let's show an example of the product rule because uh, that will help with uh, the partial integration we have to do with this handy integral sign right here. B whole prime equals to A prime B plus A B prime. I learned that a few days ago. Anyways, um, that means if we take the integral of it, remember, the integral is like the opposite of the integral is like the opposite of a derivative. So, and that means that when we take the integral of a, b whole prime, that actually cancels out the derivative and the integral. However, since the derivatives here only apply to one object and not the whole group, we can't do anything to the integral. It's unbreakable. So time plus a b prime. So now that gives us a b is equal to a uh, uh, integral of b d a. Uh, that gives us integral of a d b is equal to a b minus BDA. Actually, see, uh, uh, let's say that A is equal to V and B equal to P for the sake of it. 
Because come on, B looks like P. If you tilt B upside down, it looks like P. Now, uh, that gives us VDP is equal to A, no, VP minus PDV.